Mankind has invented all sorts of things. Computers, treatments for cancer, aeroplanes. They still haven't managed to work out how France are going to do in the next Six Nations Championship. For a country with France's rugby tradition, the fact that they haven't finished in the top three of the Six Nations for the last three years is nothing short of ridiculous. But who knows what's going to happen this time? Now France have had lots of great players over the years, but can you name me their last truly world-class fly half? Difficult, isn't it? They've got a guy this year, Camille Lopez, who uh, I think will do okay. He's maybe not absolutely the best in the world, but I think he'll make a difference for France. Keep an eye on him. France have actually got quite a few new players this season, but the bloke I keep an eye on is a guy called Teddy Toma on the wing. Now he's big, he's strong, and he's quick, which is pretty much the holy trinity if you want to be a, a test match winger. He's not perfect. Philippe Saint-André has already had to drop him for missing a, a training session. But if he does stay on the straight and narrow, I think he'll do well. Reason to be cheerful for France? Well, they cannot possibly get any worse than they've done the last two or three years. So inconsistent. There's also the political events in France lately. There's certainly a feeling within the country that a, a good showing by the rugby team is bringing the country together, uh, all its different strands. That might help. The worst case scenario is one we're already familiar with. France, end of the Six Nations, promising the world and play as, as flat as a pancake in the first match and lose at home, being booed by their own fans. Can't happen, surely. Against Scotland? <sighs> Philippe Saint-André is convinced that the World Cup will be a different story. He'll have his squad together for two and a half months before the tournament. He won't have all the club v country stuff that, that have been uh, the distractions really during the last few Six Nations. He's also stopping experimenting. He has experimented a lot. Hopefully, he's now got a more settled side. I think they'll do better mid-table though.